who shouldn't drink? What do these findings about cancer really mean as far as how you should conduct or live your life? Studies do show that alcohol affects every part of the body and its effects can worsen at least 200 different diseases. Again, that doesn't mean that nobody should drink, but if you're a person who's vulnerable to health problems, if you're a person with certain types of pre-existing conditions, the safest bet for you in terms of minimizing the harms of alcohol use would be not to use alcohol at all. You would fall into this category if you have pre-existing liver disease. We know that alcohol is not easy on your liver. If you have cardiovascular disease, we also know that alcohol is not easy on your heart. If you have gastrointestinal illness, we know that alcohol can cause several types of gastrointestinal health difficulties, or if you have pulmonary disease, or if you're pregnant or you're trying to become pregnant, avoiding alcohol may be the best way to minimize risk and harm. Now there is another subgroup of individuals who really shouldn't drink at all. And those are people who don't feel well when they drink. And what I mean by don't feel well, I don't just mean that it makes you a little bit sluggish. There are some people who develop what's called a flushing syndrome when they drink alcohol, and that's actually linked with cancer. So I'm gonna break down what that is for you. The alcohol flush reaction is kind of what it sounds like, right? You turn red when you drink alcohol, your face becomes flushed, but not only that, but it can also be accompanied by a host of other very uncomfortable symptoms. You can develop hives, you can have a drop in your blood pressure, so that might make you feel faint or dizzy. You can have a worsening of asthma if you suffer from asthma or an episode of a migraine. So for any of you for whom that sounds familiar, your body is telling you something 